Hey guys, it's Goten. I'm back finally with another chess run video. This time I'm coming at you from Brimstone Sands. Right now we're going to be going to the wall, which is an elite area where you can always get 590 plus drops from any of the chests or mobs here. So I figured it'd be a pretty good spot to level up your expertise. What you're checking out right now on the screen is two different ways of you being able to get here. You can either run from the shrine, or if you have some glyphs unlocked, go ahead and use that portal. They both take right about the same amount of time for you to be able to get here. One thing you will have to keep in mind is whenever you get here, there's going to be a hole at the top. Just unsheath your weapon, right click to block, and you'll be able to walk right through it without having to worry about grabbing the other side. All of these chests are super easy to grab without even having to kill very many mobs. You can just jump up on the chest like this one, de-aggro the mob, and then loot and scoot. However, I do want to be killing most of these because like I said, all of these mobs can give you expertise bumps by killing them. They're all level 63 plus, so you might as well kill them if you're able to. Coming into this first door, you will have to kill this archer. This is the only mob in this first room that you have to kill. You can go ahead and loot the chest, wave to the little buddies just taking a nap on the job, and then go ahead and I'll head on out. Unfortunately, if you're not the strongest, this next room will be your hardest challenge. This next room will end up having two mobs you need to kill in order to loot the chest. There is no diagro spots in here. So if this is a little bit too much for you right now, go ahead and just skip this room and you can always come back to it if you bring a friend or have more time later. We're gonna be running for a bit after this, just out the door, up the steps and to the right. You'll notice there is a couple extra chests I grab along the way and you're totally welcome to grab those as well. There's one up on the right next to this archer, and if you're careful enough, you can avoid aggroing all these mobs as well. When you walk into this next room, if you hug the outsides of the room, either left or right, you can loot these two ancient coffers on the sides and sneak behind this big boy and loot the chest. But if you're like me and enjoy killing these mobs to try to get obsidian, gypsum, or some of their rare name drops, go ahead and take your time to kill it. They'll always end up with some drops you could use. After you kill it, you're gonna have to head up the steps and do, I think, what is 13 different jumps to make it all the way up to the top. It does take a little bit of time, but it is a lot safer than taking any other methods. You'll notice that I crouch before looting this first chest. You don't need to crouch, but if you don't, you will have to crouch to end up getting out of there. Now, if you're like me and gung-ho and wanted to kill that mob right away, go ahead and do it. But if you're still shy and don't have the gear score or weapons yet, go ahead and climb up here and lie down behind this little pillar. This little pillar will end up blocking all the ranged attacks that this mob, ha mob has. You're easily able to de-aggro it, and then you can loot the chest and head on out of there. You'll notice that I will kill this mob because why not? It can drop a really good earring and a ring for you. So might as well try to kill it if you're able to. Go ahead and run all the way down to the middle part. This middle part is where you get your glyph all the way at the top. You will unlock your glyph for the wall. So if you've never been here before, you can always use that glyph to unlock your stuff. Now, right here's a little cheeky chest. If you hold block after you loot this one and walk straight off, just trust yourself. You'll land down on this little platform and then keep walking forward a little bit and you'll notice there's a hidden chest underneath here. Once you loot that chest, go ahead and hit unstuck and it'll port you right back up to the top so that you can keep on with this chest run. If you're not a fan of doing this or unstucking, you don't have to go ahead and skip the mob and head up here to that glyph I was talking about. Keep in mind right here, there is a level 66 archer. So make sure he's not right where you are before you drop off. Just wait for him to turn around, hold block, walk off, and then jump off where the torch is once you finish looting. All of these ancient sarcophagus, you can always loot them behind them, de-aggro the mobs, and then loot the grave offerings. 
really easy. You don't have to kill any of the mobs, but I enjoy killing the mobs, not only for weapon mastery, but also that slim chance you may get something really good from them. After these two chests, you're going to head south a little bit to the entrance to this next little area. This area has a total of six more of these grave offerings you can hang out, you can kill mobs for, and you can end up taking for your own. You'll notice even here, I get a legendary pair of pants just by running through it. After you loot these three, go ahead and head on over to the other side where you'll notice you have about three more mobs and chests you can loot. Don't worry too much. If you don't want to kill a lot of these mobs, you can climb up on the side and end up de-aggroing them and then looting the chests safely. But I do recommend you practicing killing these mobs. They're not that difficult. It's only one mob at a time. And if you're not going to practice now, when? After you loot these last two chests, you have three more. A little bit down the road if you guys want to grab it. It'll be right near that little shrine you started off at. So go ahead and open your map and you can check out right near the shrine of Thoth. There's going to be a little pillar. You can loot three more grave offerings around. This chest run is available every single hour. So if you wanted to run a couple solo things on your own, go ahead and throw this in your hourly rotation. Start at the top of the hour. Go ahead and loot these 20 or so chests and watch the expertise bumps start climbing in. You'll notice that about every run, you'll get around one or two expertise bumps through here. So while it's not the fastest way, you can still run expeditions to end up with a faster gear score bump. This is a great way if you don't have enough time for an expedition or if you're more solo and don't really have friends to fill out the expedition slots. Now there is one more chest up around this corner. If you climb up, there's a chest on the back of this POI. Now there is a very handy dandy way you can easily make it up there every single time and loot the chest. But for that piece of information, go ahead and stop by my stream sometime and I'll be able to tell you there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you stay tuned for more Roots on the way.